Book campers and RVers, one of the best resources that you can create when camping is a travel journal. I didn't want to create one of these things, but I was encouraged to do it and I'm super glad that I did. It's really important because you can keep track of the places that you've been to in the event that you want to go back to that particular location and you can't recall the area or the campground, campsite that you actually stayed at, you can reflect back on your travel journal and see where you stayed and make reservations or when you get there you can request that specific site again. Additionally, if you visited the site and you've gone around and made notes of the campsites that you found particularly interesting or you would like to stay there next time, you can make those little notes in the uh, in your travel journal. Uh, it doesn't have to be elaborate unless you're into a lot of details. It can be just very basic. That's all I've done. Uh, it's just a very basic book that I keep track of the dates that I travel at a location and the specific campground that I've been to and some notes about the campground. Uh, whether it was, you know, convenient to get off the freeway to stay there or if it was a place I'd want to go back again. So, so basically the pros and cons and how many nights I've stayed at the location. So nothing elaborate. It's very basic, but it definitely comes in handy if you're if I'm traveling through the area again and would like to go back to that particular campground. I was recently in the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains and I had stayed there previously and wanted to stay at the, the same campground and I ended up making reservations at a different campground and that ended up being really nice. I believe I did a video on that not too long ago. Um, so anyways, it just comes in handy if you would like to go back and stay at the same campground again. The other reason is uh, tax purposes. If you're trying to establish residency or change your residency someplace, having one of these little books is very helpful because it proves the places that you've stayed or you keep notes of how many days that you've been at a location. So it helps you with tax purposes. Also, keeping track of the number of days that you've been at a location lets you personally know whether or not you're using your RV. Maybe you're not using your RV uh, enough to maintain or enough to keep it. Uh, there's a lot of maintenance that goes into just maintaining an RV on a monthly basis, just even though it's just sitting there or whatever you're doing with it, or if you are using it. Maybe um, keeping track of the number of days that you're using it will show you whether or not you should even own an RV. Um, so that's another important thing. Maybe that'll motivate you to get out on the road too. Hey, we didn't use it very much last year. Let's, you know, step it up a notch this year and get out there to make up for last year because we didn't use it for whatever reason. Um, the other thing is sharing with others. I've taken this book that I keep, and again, it's very basic, the information that I keep in it, and been to campfires or rallies and stuff and people say oh where you've been and what kind of places have you been to just hand them this book and they read through it and they thoroughly enjoy it and you know make notes maybe they want to go to that location again so it doesn't take that much time to just jot down the campground that you were at how many days you stayed there and a couple of notes about the place whether or not that you know they had hookups or whether you were boondocking or or, or that kind of thing. The other thing is you always get these little handouts um, when you pull into an RV location and you can use these to take notes or maintain them in a, a notebook. I also maintain a little notebook to keep track of um, my RV state, future RV stays in a, in a calendar and stuff like that. But these little handouts that they give you when you pull into a location, you can make little notes on that and keep these kind of things so that when you travel back, oh yeah, that was a really nice site that I stayed at or I'd like to try a different site. 
So um, those are things that I do. And believe me, I'm kind of a creature of habit. I like to kind of go back to the same places, um, especially if they're nice ones. Uh, some of the Elks Lodges that I've been to have been really nice. And uh, I definitely make notes of that and really have met some neat people in some of these places that I've stayed. But um, I just wanted to share that information with you, if, especially if you're a new RVer and keep track of that stuff. It comes in handy. So I hope this information was helpful to you and I appreciate you watching.